Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello, good morning netizen How are you today? I hope all of you are in good conditions So today, I am Memdina And with both of greatest science teacher It means they are scientists, right? So with Mem Fitri and Mr. Pandu Hello Mem Fitri, how are you today? Hello Mem Dina, I'm good today, Alhamdulillah Okay, great So, how about you Mr. Pandu, how are you today? Okay, fine, I'll soon Okay, so uh, today we will discuss about vibration and we will do experiment about vibration So, before we do experiment about vibration, we will ask or we will do a discussion with both of them Okay, so Mem Fitri or Mr. Pandu, I will ask several questions about vibration. The first question is, what is the, the difference between vibration and wave? As I know that both of them are same, right? Okay, I think this is a different concept with vibration and wave. Because a vibration is periodic motion in one place, not move. but in wave is vibration can move so why it can move because uh, vibration uh, or wave is transfer energy from one place to the another place okay so the next question is is there any important usage of uh, vibration in our life okay actually vibration and wave is very close with our life because uh, we can hear voice because uh, there is a wave movement and then light also it can uh, transfer to us because they also move with wave and also if we use uh, phones the yeah, gadget it's also uh, use the concept of waves because from uh, one phone to another phone they use a signal uh, so we can send message each other like that and also uh, in the transportation or technology we can find it like in the sonar system of plane because to detect another object in front of the transportation they sometimes use the sonar system that's also the concept of waves and in the medical uh, aspect it's also used in some technologies such as USG and then x-ray CT scans uh, like that so it means that USG is one of the usage of the vibration yes of course and what is the concept of USG okay uh, USG is ultrasonography yeah the basic waves is ultrasound waves which is it used in the medical uh, for checking the condition of some organs not only the fetus because uh, as we know USG it's only used for check the condition of fetus in the pregnant woman but it also we can use it for checking the condition of some organs like liver and then gallbladder and in other organs but in the concept of checking the condition of fetus maybe as we know maybe Mdina also ever uh, get experience about using of USG yes. at the first step uh, the doctor will apply the jelly uh, and at the surface of our skin uh, it has function to minimize the friction of the tools we call it the as skin. transducer to our skin so the doctor will be easy to move the tools uh, because they will uh, see the perfect view of the condition inside and also it used to transmit the waves so uh, it will get and transferred into the our organs and the second the transducer will uh, transmit the waves and the waves will hit our skin and then our bones and next to our organs and then the waves will reflect it reflect it and received back by the tools and visualize by the screen or the computer so we can see the condition of the organs inside or the condition of the fetus inside like that 
Okay. So, uh, how about the evac? Is there any evac of the fibrosion? Uh, for example, X-ray and USG in our body. I think it's safe for our body because uh, example of X-ray, it is from a radioactive uh, element, okay. and every apparatus in laboratorium uh, have a certificate from our government, especially in health government. So I think it's safe for our body. And then, then the last. Before we do experiment about vibration, the last question is: What is the factor that influence the vibration? Uh, maybe at the first, vibration is from every material or every atom have a vibration, have a energy. So, in microscopic uh, aspect, the energy is uh, more factor, most factor to influence about the vibration, like uh, frequency or the periodic. Uh, I think, and the, and the second, maybe in simple pendulum, is the factor is long the length of rope, yeah. And then maybe a mass of weight in spring, that is a factor for the frequency and periodic. Okay, so once more, Mr. Pandu. As Mr. Fit, uh, um, I'm sorry. As Mem Fitri say that one of the example of vibration is also our phone, right? Yes. So is there any correlation between wind, waves, and sound? Oh yeah, sound is a mechanic wave. So wave is the type of wave is mechanic and electromagnetic. Mechanic wave is need medium to transfer, but electromagnetic is without medium can transfer. So uh, the example of mechanic sound, and the example of uh, electromagnetic is light. Yeah, light and sound is different in the speed. Is uh, in sound have a speed 330 meter per second, but in light have a speed 300 millions meter every second. So the speed of light is more. Uh, oh. speed higher, more yes. high speed uh, than, beside than uh, sound yes, okay. so great explanation yeah. from the greatest science teacher right so today we will do experiments too experiments of uh, vibration maybe Mem Fitri and Ma Mr. Pandu uh, could show us about how a vibration do in our uh, daily life. Okay, uh, this is apparatus from experiment about vibration. Uh, can so uh, can experiment by student in our class. Uh, the first apparatus is stopwatch. Uh, second is thing uh, to mess and rope. Yes, and the stationer. Okay. At the stationer uh, to make the experiment can be held. At the first, we want to know about the frequency. We must count about the time of the ten vibration. Okay, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I nine ten. Okay, we get about uh, twelve, twelve seconds. Twelve seconds. Yes. So we have a frequency with ten divided it by twelve. 12. Yes. But okay. if we want to know about period, periodic is uh, twelve, yeah. 12 divided, divided by, by ten. 10. Okay. Yes. Yeah. It's same with the spring. We move uh, down and. We count, measure about uh, time in 10 movement, okay. 10 vibration. Okay. Uh, okay. Memphitic, you stop what? Okay. okay. 1, 2, okay. One, okay. two three, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, nine. stop. Okay. Okay. It's about 6 seconds. 6 seconds? Yes. So uh, in frequency, 10 divided by 6. six. And but the periodic 
six divided by ten. Okay. 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 It's a simple concept from vibration. Okay. So could the students apply the experiments at their home? May it's by okay. himself? Yes. At the first, maybe this thing can be replaced by a riser in oh, from yes. home, and the rope is. I think every home have. Yeah. Okay. Rope. Yeah. Right. Okay, so it means that the students, you can also uh, try, yeah. try yourself. Yeah. Maybe it's in the home, there is no station. Okay. You, uh, the student can hold by, by the yeah. yeah. okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So, everyone, you have already understand, right, about the vibration and, they, and it works in our daily life. And you can also try by yourself at home using things around you. Is it right, Mr. Pandu, Mr. Yes, FM? Yes, right? of course. Okay, right. so uh, I think enough for today. Thank you, Ma'am Fitri and Mr. Pandu okay, for accompanying so me um, in <laughs> this discussion. Okay. May it useful for all of you, especially um. our student in MTS Bilingual Muslimat and Upujang Sidoarjo. Okay. So the last we say, MTSB Kiteni Chakra Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh wow. Goodbye